I don't know about you, Caitlin, but I am. Um, it's yeah. over. It is over. It is. It round, is over. It is the end of round ten of the regular <gasps> national finals rodeo. We have two brand new world champions in Clay Smith and Collies. And we have two brand new average Hi. champions. We are so excited. We're excited for everybody. Aaron and Trey are both very close to our hearts. Yes. So, um, I this- was so excited to see them catch all ten. Yes. Us. And Aaron has been oh. saying he was going to do it since August when he pretty much had the average or mm-hmm. had the NFR made. And, I mean, he, he called his shot. There's not a lot of people as confident to, that will just go in and say very confidently that I'm they're going to catch all ten steers. Mm-hmm. But... Aaron Sinajini is, is one of those very confident people, and it was awesome to see. So cool. Yes, and, and Clay and Paul, so deserving. I have a funny little story about Clay and Paul. For maybe, you, you, got, you guys can, if you have print copies of the Team Roping Journal, you can look back in, in the early issues. I mean, maybe for six months straight, I, the high call sections at the beginning of the magazine are some like kind of pre-identified photo holes that I'm going to fill, big pictures of people that win big rodeos, Mm -hmm. and it just so happened that Clay and Paul had one on every single issue for months and months and months, and if you look back through this year, I'm sure every other issue had something that those two won. They were so dominant, they're so humble, they are so kind of under the radar, Mm -hmm. Um, there's not a ton of flash to what they do, there's just a ton of skill, a ton of talent, and I'm going to let them tell you about everything they did. So, without further ado, Clay Smith and Paul Eves. So, how many text messages does that guy get in the first five minutes after winning his first gold buckle? 32. <laughs> I've got 31. <laughs> and I've opened a couple. <laughs> you have? Have you answered any? Yeah, I, I've texted a couple people back. Are you guys emotional? It's like, it seems like it's too early. It hasn't sunk in yet. How do you feel? Oh, it's, I mean, I don't know if it, I mean, it's sunk in. I can't believe it. I mean, it's, uh, it really is. I mean, it's a dream come true. We're tickled to death that we could do it with Paul. I mean, it's awesome. Yeah, same for me. I mean, I don't really, I don't really know what to say. I'm just so tickled how everything worked out, and, and it's just amazing. You guys had to go fast in the 10th round. Did you watch Ren miss, mm-hmm. and did you have that figured that if Ren went out? We did. We 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 didn't do any figuring until uh, last night after it was over. We kind of did a little bit of figuring, and uh, uh, if it was over, we was eleven thousand ahead. And then by Ren missing, we probably gained another ten. And I ain't sure that we had to place on the last one really, but yeah. I, I, I we might have had to win last hole maybe. I, I'm not really sure, but I we already kind of knew what we was gonna do. Even if even if we had yeah. to just go catch it's in this building for us. I think best thing to do is hit the barrier and I was a little late and I reached mm-hmm. a little bit and I, I didn't do a very good job Paul ha- I mean hammered him so I mean it's so hard it feels like to us to me to just go catching this pin being six is harder than being four it seems like so Paul did you that that shot tell me about your shot uh, I was uh, you know like I said we kind of figured it and we kind of figured if they were winning the round that we would maybe have to place with them winning second, I didn't quite know, and I was going to try to figure something real quick, and then I was like, no, I'm just going to just do, do the same thing. Wing you know? it. Yeah, wing it. I figured he was too. Yeah. So I, I just, you know, I mean, really, just as soon as I th- thought I could catch, I threw. I didn't really, you know, it was happening fast. I didn't know how fast we were, but the round was pretty easy, really. Yeah. So I figured we were fast enough. Yeah. And pantyhose just by luck, or were you showing off? Or? Yeah, I wish I, was, I could do that on purpose, <laughs> but no, I just was trying to get something down there and get it around two feet. <laughs> Did you guys have somebody in the alleyway helping you, telling you what was going on, or were you watching? Or Britt was going yeah. to, but I couldn't find him. Well, he was on my side. Oh, he was on. He was on my side because I told Britt, his brother, I said, "Hey, if uh, I want to know what like four, fifth, six is winning, depending on what they're doing," and uh, so he was on my side there. And right before I rode in, he said it was a 5-1 and 5-3. Before Caleb rode, maybe 5-1 and 5-3 was winning fifth and sixth. And um, so he was kind of helping I, us a little bit. I, 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 all I heard was 4-9 was splitting second and third before they roped. And so 4-9 was winning third and fourth before we roped. And we, I mean, we've been making, I mean, we've been catching and being a little faster than that. So I, our game plan was just mm-hmm. stay aggressive and yeah. go out fighting. I mean, Caleb Jr. roped great, and so, I mean, it's a, they're a great team. I mean, so to, for, for it to come down to us two, I mean, it is. That, that, that team's awesome. 
You guys both have amazing family support systems. What does this mean, not for you guys, but for your families? Oh, I think it means a lot to them. I mean, they're, I mean, they're super excited. They were probably, I know they were more nervous than what me and Paul was. I mean, me and Paul was trying not to, I'm sure, I, I was not trying to think about it too much. It's just another cow. It really was. And then at the end, you can kind of look up and see, but they were, they were kind of freaking out all day long. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. And, and like, you know, I mean, this is what we love to do. And, um, but you know, I mean, they, they sacrifice a lot for us. And, um, so I know it means a lot to them, you know, from my mom and dad, you know, from when I was little taking me around, you know, my wife now and everything. So I know it means, it means something to them. Paul Guapo. Welcome to Rodeo World, Guapo. Yeah, yeah, he's done good this week, so yeah, I'll probably ride him in more rodeos now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, maybe a few. So, am I allowed to ask you guys what you're doing next year yet? Yeah. Okay. Well, what are you guys? I, Clay said after the finals, so I guess this counts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm roping with Luke. You're roping with Luke. And I'm roping with Jake. Jake. So a world championship team. Now the last world champs went out. So. That's what, that's what I was saying before this. Hey, it's. If we can win it, it's all good. It doesn't matter. (laughs) Very cool. Congratulations, guys. There's so many other people here that want to talk to you. That's okay. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. All right. We were lucky enough to have Aaron and Trey sit down with us separately, actually, as they were busy doing all kinds of interviews back here. So we have... Two, two separate conversations that you guys get double time to listen to. Aaron Sinogeny and Trey Yates, the 2018 NFR Average Champion. You've been telling me since you pretty much had the NFR made in August that you were going to come here and turn 10 steers into your job. That's basically what it boils down to. I mean, I, I worked hard on roping 10 steers at home before I come out here. And so that last one, I've done it a hundred times at home here about a month ago. So I thought for sure you were gonna be, we were gonna, you were gonna back to the box, and we were gonna see a little white star on your horse's forehead in route ten. <laughs> you went with the other bay. Yeah, I, uh, we had a bigger steer, and uh, Smudge is a little sore, and I, the the bay I rode tonight was stronger, and I thought. And maybe if I did bring some straight heat, he'd, he'd do a better job getting him out of the hole. That horse was pretty clutch this week. I know you wanted to ride Smudge all week, but that horse wasn't Smudge, but was pretty outstanding. Let you catch 10 steers. Yeah, eight, I, eight, I ducked eight, him at home seven. and ruined him and fixed him again. So, <laughs> I mean, that's that's what it came down to at home. I mean, I ducked seven in a row, and I'd pretend that all I needed to do is catch the eighth one, and... So I went in there and, you know, he let me do that at home. Mm-hmm. And at the begin- at the, the first day or so, first couple of days, he wouldn't let me do it. Mm-hmm. He'd, he'd get away from me. And he, I don't know, well, I whipped him one day. And so <laughs> when I when I run in there to, because I do a lot of just roping and I follow steers down on my horses. So I, one day I just roped on him and he just headed out, like just run off. So I was a little bit scared of, because one time I had to fish it. Split the horns. I had to fish on smudge one one time, so I was a little nervous about having if I had any rope trouble or anything. If he would just run out with me and he did a pretty good job. Yeah. What do you call him? I don't know yet. You don't know yet? <laughs> yeah. His name is Shortcut, but the kids are starting to call him Little Brother. Little Brother. Is little Brother to Smudge. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's he's the one that named Smudge, and he's calling this one Little Brother now. So I think we're gonna have to go with Little Brother little brother um that's pretty awesome tell me your practices at home how many times were you running a day man i was running probably 50 60 a day the last time i came here i was running 100 a day yeah and junior would run rope with me and then he'd go rope with Derek again and he was getting mad at us we're overdoing it with him and <laughs> who's junior Nogueira. oh junior he, yeah Nogueira. because that's he was rubbing with jake at that time i forgot okay and that was the year that jake got hurt yeah that was right time. down yeah. to it so yeah, yeah, so that's, um, I mean, I, but but I would put him into, I shouldn't give all my secrets away, yes, should you I? Should, yeah. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> I'd, I'd put him into like 10 mm-hmm. myself, and it was a little hard when Trey would come over because he'd rope five or six on each horse and switch. Mm-hmm. So, but in my mind, I was roping him in, in, in 10s. And, you know, we always get nervous when it comes to the seventh and eighth round here, so I 
I made myself nervous and mm-hmm. and went through the motions and that's how it played out. And you're the man in black tonight, Johnny Cash? Well, every year I've come here, the first night and the last night I always wore black. <laughs> so we weren't switching it up. And you weren't shaving? I shaved yesterday and it came you back. You did not. <laughs> you shaved like two months ago. <laughs> yeah, I didn't bring a razor with me. I actually, I actually, before I come out here, I went to the barber and they shaved all of it off. And this, so this is two weeks worth. <laughs> <laughs> How does this feel compared to a gold buckle? There's two things I hadn't won. I've, I've won everything else. And it, the only thing I lacked was the average buckle here and the BFI buckle. Mm-hmm. So I won the BFI second twice. So once I win that. You can retire? Maybe. <laughs> My shoulder makes me feel like I need to retire. Is it hurting? Man, that sucker. I spend more time taking out all the knots. I thought you were going to say, the way you just did that hand motion, I thought you were going to say I spent more time lifting weights. Well, something. that too. They, they, they showed me how to really exercise all the muscles in there. and mm-hmm. So I take a little 10-pound weight and work them muscles. Yeah, you are getting old. You better take care of your body, bud. Yeah, I'm 31 now. I'm old. <laughs> Aaron, congratulations. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. I don't know. I have, like, no questions for you because I'm just so excited. Like, that's all I can keep saying is that I'm... How... Are you processing? Like, what does this mean? I have no idea. You don't know what this means? That's just... 18 years ago, my dad got one of these, and I have one now, and it's just so special. It's... I can't even, no words can describe it. Your dad um, was telling me that so much of your life has been trying to prove that you are Yates and trying to prove that you belong with your grandpa and your aunt and your dad. Do you feel like you belong? I, uh, I decided I want to be my own person. And, I mean, I love the family legacy. I'm so glad I can, hopefully I can do what they've done with it. And... Uh, but I want to be Trey Yates, and I, you know, this is this is great. But I hope I hope I'm viewed as a, as a good person, and that's that's really important to me. So I think I think you're Trey Yates now. Yeah. Trey Yates, the guy that won the average at the finals now. <laughs> that horse, your your last minute decision to ride, dude, was just clutch. Clutch, yeah. I mean, he I he got think, better every round. Yeah. Like right there, I, I was in a funny spot. I got way around that steer. And I took an extra swing, and he never, I thought I was going to be in a bind, and he just kept his feet moving, Mm -hmm. and it let me take that extra swing, hold my slack up, and when I went to put it on the horn, he finished and bottomed out and really got back, and and, I mean, it wasn't the snappiest heel loop, I guess, but it, (laughs) you know, he, he dang sure was the difference, I think, the last two nights in our, you know, last night, steer went left had a chance to get in the wall and he stopped and I held my slack up same deal when I pulled back he pulled the steer back Mm -hmm. so man are you gonna wear that buckle I don't know uh, I don't know yeah I mean I don't know I'm gonna I'm gonna get my name put in the middle (laughs) right there on that little strip yeah they do it they do that Mm -hmm. my dad said he doesn't really yeah I think we're gonna send them in together I'm gonna (laughs) yeah What's the money mean right now? What, what are you gonna? Is it gonna help you rodeo next year? Or you? I have no idea. I I want to buy a place. I'm gonna buy some land. I want to buy. A, In Pueblo? No. Texas? I'm, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna go partners with Phil on some apartments. Yeah. And I'm gonna get me a little piece of land up there that hopefully will make some money. Are you gonna come to Northern Colorado? I'm gonna have land. I don't think I'll live there. You're but not gonna live I'm gonna have something. Phil's. You know, he's one of my best friends. We're and, talking about Phil Schumann. Yeah, who Phil Schumann, know. yeah. Uh, yeah. And I, he's going to he's gonna point me in the right direction. He's a money manager and he's a pal. So I, I told him if I had a good finals, it's... Be smart right off the bat. That's that's my plan. I mean, you know, it's one thing my dad always tells me is uh, he never got a gold buckle, but he got he did get one of these in the team open and the steer open. But... Uh, he also feels like he has something to show for it. And, and a lot of, seems like rodeo cowboys that rodeo forever don't have anything. Yeah. And I dang sure don't want to be one of those guys. Your dad said maybe that you might be seeing the light and might be seeing the horse show thing. Yeah. I, making I more mean, sense. That was my plan. Uh, in fact, Cody Snow, he just cornered me and said, aren't you glad I talked you out of here? 
your decision. Yeah, because you were going to just show horses. like. Yeah, and I did, and I worked on my riding this year. And, uh, you know, it showed, I guess, uh, one second. And me and my dad had five of the top six heel horses in the senior healing at the yeah. so that was a special day. That was awesome. I was second and third, and I told my dad, uh, pardon my language, but when it was just us two sitting there, I, he said, what do you think? It's pretty cool, huh? I said, I hope I kick your ass. <laughs> and uh, it was a special moment mm-hmm. for both of us. But it's true. You know, we're father and son, but in the arena, we're competitors. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, you know, it's I, I mean, it's just been an unbelievable year. Um, you know, the college finals was my ultimate goal. This right here, did I have intentions of making the NFR? Absolutely. Did I think it would happen? Well, I didn't know. Did I think I'd win the NFR? I had no idea. Yeah. I mean, I just no words can. I can't even comprehend the year. It was the and you know, I had my whole family here today, both sides, my mom's side, my siblings. My, I mean, it's just. Uh, Seeing my sister hold my hold my number in the air, and, and my brother, he had a sign that said he's my brother. It was it was pretty cool. It's just I, I can't I can't even comprehend it. I can't. And I know I know that uh, this may mean something more to people to, than others, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. And yeah, I want to go buckle someday, but I can I just this is I just I love it. I love, love this it. moment. Like I you, love you told me earlier, this is the best day of my life, and I'd have to say it is. It is. Yeah. It is. You have arrived, Trey. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thanks. Well, everybody, this was a really fun night. Caitlin, did you have fun tonight? Oh, I had so much fun. I cried a little bit. I did. Yes. Yeah. There yeah. was tears. Um, I, we are. We we do our best to be real hardcore journalists, but. We aren't that hardcore. We can't put up the front all the time. No. I'm ra- sorry. Round 10 <laughs> Wrangler National Finals Rodeo will absolutely bring out some serious tears on my part. We spend all year following every single one of these guys so closely, and, and as a result, we are very invested in their stories. And so I hope you all enjoy. We'll have the story up on TeamRuffingJournal.com by this evening. You can listen to this podcast. And before we go, we cannot forget to thank Resist All Hats, Soft ride equine comfort boots and csi saddle pads they have been behind us all week the coolest thing about these sponsors is that they believe in supporting coverage of professional team roping and through that coverage the sport's going to grow their investment will be paid off in the long run i love these guys um they they mean it they mean that they want to support the sport of team roping and we thank them for it everybody we will have some special clips throughout the next few weeks but we are taking the holiday season to enjoy our families. Yes. So, <laughs> yeah. It's been a fun two weeks, yes. but... It's been a fun two weeks. You have pro- you're probably sick of our voices by this point. I'm sick of my own voice. I know, me too. <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to have a special treat. Uh, there will be some audio that we pulled off of a tape of Corey Koontz talking, telling us about his horse remix that will be kind of a special Christmas treat. So, two weeks from now, I'll let you all listen to it. But for now, Merry Christmas. Happy round 10 of the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo, and we cannot thank you enough for supporting us all week long.